This is a prototype of my new receiver transmitter design. Uh, the biggest change from my traditional designs is that this uses a tuned circuit, a tank circuit, rather than a crystal to generate the frequency. And the advantage of that is that we can alter our frequency by a very large amount by adjusting capacitance and inductance. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, first of all, the overall layout is our mixing section occurs here where our radio signal is mixed with the local oscillator and audio comes out. So it goes from the SA602 direct conversion receiver to a LM386 audio amplifier and that comes to the speaker here or it goes to the headphone jack here as well. Now there's some other circuitry here such as a buffer to uh, have a high impedance um, way to tap into the oscillator so we can do frequency measurements and even use it for a transmitter which we have an amplifier here low pass filter and a dummy load. I'm not going to use the transmitter part right now. I'm only going to demonstrate the receiver and our little power supply section down here. Anyway when I turn it on I'll apply power here you can hear audio starts coming out of the speaker. Um, one thing to mention is, is that there is a tune circuit on the input to try to limit the uh, effect that out of band transmissions have on the SA602 which seems to get overloaded pretty easily. So I will connect this to speakers which I'll turn up so you can hear the audio. Now when I adjust this here this is that front end variable capacitor. It gets really loud when I reach a certain level. That means that it's maximally receiving the, the signals at that frequency resonant with this little network here, which is great. The, uh, in the antenna right now is just a wire going to ground and a wire going to the antenna here at the Gator Amateur Radio Club Station. Right now it's nothing special, it's just a paper clip into the antenna socket and uh, running on a Gator Clip. It's, it's not very high efficiency. Also there's a thunderstorm a couple hundred miles away so you get crashes of static in here but um, it's, it's about as good as I can get with what I have. Also, I've used a, a simple antenna, just a piece of wire uh, hanging outside my apartment, and that does great as well. So uh, the antenna here isn't really doing anything magical. Uh, it has a lot to do with just the general receiver properties. As you can see, Morse code's coming out. And I have so much control with this variable capacitor that my 20-meter uh, band is only from about here to here. I'm not even using all this other stuff. So I could adjust the values later. But I'm going to try to demonstrate some of the different types of signals we can receive. This is our main tuning here. And this is fine tuning. And that's the basics of how it works. Alright, now you can hear a lot of signals coming out. There's a lightning storm it's not right next to Florida, but it's a few hundred miles away, so you can hear some bursts of static. There's a lot going on. some PSK-31 too. Here's a sideband signal coming through. <laughs> Sorry about the lightning.